Hello everybody, my name is 90 SI, and today I'm going to be showing you how to put your public IP address into a custom domain for your Minecraft server. Um, so this might sound a little confusing, but in case you don't know what a custom domain is, basically it's what Mineplex does. It's what any of the other <laughs> Minecraft servers does. It's basically taking your IP address, which is a bunch of numbers, and putting it into a something that kind of looks like a website. Usually it'll have like dot .com or dot .something at the end of it, like that. Um, so the best example would be Mineplex, I guess, um, whatever it is. I think it's just Mineplex.com. I don't really play on a lot of public Minecraft servers, so I don't really know. But yeah, because as I said in the previous video, um, how to make a Minecraft server, uh, you cannot uh, give your public IP address, well, you can give it to people you trust, but you can't just leak it on the internet, basically, because that'll show people where you live. Uh, it'll show you people, it basically just where you live, but it can show people other stuff that I don't quite understand. Um, and it'll, it'll make you very vulnerable to hackers, because they can hack you very easily using your IP address. So yeah, you got to be very careful about that stuff. But today I'm going to be showing you how to make your server basically public, because you can give this to anybody and they can't do anything with this custom domain except for join your Minecraft server. But before I get into showing you how, I would like to thank the person B. Ara Pulse for leaving a comment on the previous video, how to make a Minecraft server, as it gave me the idea to make this video. Because um, I was just going to answer the question, but it ended up being a little more complex. Well, it's not complex, but it's a little more, it's harder to explain in words. So I decided just to make a video, and there's probably other people that are wondering it too, so this way I can just answer the question for a bunch of different people at the same time. But thank you for leaving that comment, because I would have never thought of it. Um, so I did a bunch of research, and I found the best website to do it. So let's get right into it. So first step is you want to go to this website here. Um, this is called freedns.afraid.org. I'll put a link down in the description. Um, basically, this will let you get custom domains completely for free, because usually you would have to buy these. Now, there is a catch, and I will show you that, but uh, it's not something big. I mean, it might bother some people, but it's definitely not something that's a big problem. But this is a completely free way of doing things, and also, to uh, as far as I know, after researching, the best way. Um, and I did look at some reviews. I know this website looks extremely shady, um, but I did I did read some reviews, and it is a trustworthy website, and I used it, and it, it works fine. So, yeah, but first step. So you want to come over here. It will be brought to the screen, most likely. You want to come over here to this list over here that says four members. Um, you want to click on registry. So click on that. And I'll bring you to this long list of domains. So here was the catch. So basically, you can call the subdomain whatever you want. So the subdomain is what goes in front of this. So say you use this one, moo. So it would go, I don't know, say you just used, I don't know, um, Minecraft. Sure, just Minecraft. So it would go minecraft.moo.com. So that's basically how they work. Um, but I will show you, I, I will actually show you what it looks like. So don't worry. Um, so you can pick from any of these, or you can just look up one. So I guess I'll do uh, Minecraft, just to make it easier for you guys. Now, you it doesn't have to be something to do with Minecraft. It does not have to be. Um, I'm just doing this just to make it, um, I guess, easier. But you can use any of those ones that are down there. It does not have to be something that does. It does not have to be something that has Minecraft in the title. So I'm going to pick Minecraft Potato. It's a little long. Uh, but I find it funny, so I'm going to do that. Uh, you can pick a really short one, like you've seen in the list. There was the short one, like Moo is a really short one, so you can do that. So then it's going to bring you to this login screen. Now, if you don't have a login already, you will have to set up an account. So click on set up an account. Now, this is completely fine. It's it, They're not going to send you a bunch of emails and all that stuff. Um, and as you can see, there is paid plans for quite a lot of money. But there is the starter one um, that gives you five, five subdomains. So click select on that. It's completely free, as I've already said. And then you want to fill in all this. First name, last name, user ID, passwords, confirm it, and then your email. Um, and then you have to do one of these CAPTCHA things, which these are some weird ones, but you can just click different image if you don't like it. And it'll bring up another one. But anyways, oh, and then you agree. Click send activation email. Go activate your account. And then come back. Um, but when you come back, do the same thing. Click on registry. Uh, crap. Uh, i got to look it up again. There we go. So, look up whatever you want. Uh, I guess I can show you now. There is some short ones. So, like, us.to. That's, like, a really short one. A lot of people use it, though, um, but it is a short one. Most of the shorter ones are taken. 
but that's okay. It, it can be long or short, it doesn't really matter. So I'm gonna go back to this one. So then when you have your account set up, you wanna log in. Oh, I'm gonna put a blur all those out. <laughs> but you wanna log in with your email um, and then put in whatever your password is. And there we go. Uh, you can do remember me if you want. I'm not gonna do that. Um, okay, so right here, um, you're gonna have to put in some stuff, but not much. So, first things first, this type A, leave this as A. Do not change that, it needs to be A. Um, and then the subdomain here is where you can name it whatever you want. So, really you would wanna name it whatever your server is called. So, you know, I could do like, uh, the nutty server. Mine doesn't really have a name because it's a public server, but if you have a public server you would want to name it something. Um, so just for now I will do just nutty because it doesn't have to be, well I'll do I'll do nutty server, why not? This will make it a really long title though. Um, so yeah, so you can just put in nutty server, that's it, put in whatever you want really. Um, and yeah, and then the domain just leave that the same because you already picked it. And the destination will be your public IP. So for me, it already put my IP in there, which is interesting. Um, but yeah, it was already in there for me. Um, but th this is basically where you want to put your public IP. And if you guys forget or don't know how to do that, just go to Google and search what is my IP. Enter, and boom, there it is right there. So you copy that, uh, paste it uh, whoa, right into here, and then boom. So, uh, and then you have to do this little captcha thing. So I think that's F, Z, and A. And then that should be it, yes. So click save, and then there it is. It'll show your domain, that's a really long one. Like I said, it doesn't have to be that long, but if it is that long, that does not matter. Um, and then, um, that's your public IP, sorry, I don't know why. <laughs> sorry, that's your public IP. That'll be blurred out for you guys, um, but that's just where you're, it'll show you what your public IP is so you can match them up basically. So that step's done. So you don't have to leave this website open or anything like that. You can close this website down. It's just saved right there in your account. So you're good. Um, so next step is you want to open your Minecraft server. So we're going to do that right quick. Um, and if you don't have all this done, if you don't have the port forwarding done and you want to know how to do that, I do have a video completely explaining that. It's a little long, but I try and go into as much detail as possible, which is why it is so long. Um, but I'll link that down to the uh, at the description as well. It'll be the um, one of the top links there. Um, so there we go. With the Minecraft server opened up. You want to let that go. Um, there you go. By the way, guys... Uh, <laughs> Take a look at the time there. <laughs> Almost 3 a.m. Um, that is quite a regular thing. I record quite a lot of my videos very late at night. <laughs> Just so you know. Um, but yeah, anyway. So there we go. It's all set up. So now I'm going to launch up Minecraft. Um, and that'll take a second. All right, so once Minecraft loaded up, uh, the next thing you're going to want to do is go into multiplayer. Um, and then here's where things get a little weird, but um, I'll try and expl <laughs> explain things as clearly as possible. So... Um, for some people this will work if you're hosting, um, but it depends on your router. So usually when you are hosting a Minecraft server, you have to use your local IP address. Um, and what that is is your IPv4 address. And if you didn't watch the last video, basically how you get that is you go into your command prompt. Um, you know what, I'll just show you real quick. Okay, so once you're on your home screen, what you want to do is go to search and then put in cmd and then click on command prompts and then when you're in here you look up ip config and then right here your ipv4 address so mine is 192.168.2.2.33 so yours might be something completely different and that's okay but whatever is right there um, and this only goes for if you're hosting if you're the one you know with the server running um, you put in that as your server ip not your public one so if I go back into Minecraft, um, there we go. You, If I go into here, so this one's working, I can join this. But I have in the local IP. Um, so if you were a friend trying to join from another house or just a stranger, so if you make this public and put it on the internet, this could be a stranger too, they would go to add server or direct connect and they would put in whatever name. The, the name doesn't matter. Um, you can be whatever name. And then, in my case, they would put in nutty server dot minecraft potato dot com. So, 
Just making sure I spelled that all right. All right. Yeah. And click done. So as you can see for me, it is not working. Even if I refresh it a bunch of times, it's not working. And I can't join it either. Um, but this one is working because I have the local IP address. Um, but it is working for your friends. Um, and if you do not believe it, uh, that it works from using your local IP address, um, if you want to make sure it works, there is a way to do that. So all you got to do is leave Minecraft. Uh, that should take... There we go. <laughs> and you want to go to this website here. Minecraft server status. Um, I'll put this link down in the description. Um, or you can just Google Minecraft server status and this website will come up. But basically you want to come to this bar and put in whatever your um, domain is. So in my case it's nutty. Um, there it is. Uh, it's probably from my test that I did before the video. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, just type that all in or whatever yours is and then click get server status. Um, and there we go. So <laughs> For some reason it says someone's online, even though there's not. Okay. Um, it is a little late, because I was just online testing it to make sure it worked. Um, but, yeah. But, I mean, that does prove that it worked, because as you can see, that is my me. Um, so there you go. You got proof that it works, I guess. <laughs> um, but anyway, the website is a little late, but as you can see, it does work. Um, and if you want further proof, if I go ahead and close the server right now... Stop, there we go. And I go back to the website and click it again. Um, click it again. There we go. <laughs> Jeez, it took, a it took a couple tries because like I said, um, the website is a little late um, to getting the information. But it says could not get the server status and as you can see that is the exact same as it was before. So there you go. Um, but anyways, I guess that should be it. So you wanna use this website here and it's pretty dang easy for the most part um, and then you can just go into Minecraft and have a great time with your friends so that should be it um, sorry if that video was a little more confusing than usual um, this was a completely new thing to me so I had to learn it pretty much just today learn what it was all about learn how the website worked and try to put together a video for you guys and I try to make it as clear as possible but if you have if you have any problems along the way or you want me to re-explain something please 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 do not be afraid to leave a comment I will get to back to you as soon as possible and I will help you out as much as I can um, but anyways that should be it so if it did work for you and help you out uh, for one uh, if you want to tell me go for it um, that, that'll make me kind of happy because that'll ma mean that you know I helped you guys and that's awesome but anyways guys that should be the end of the video it is extremely late I need to go to bed <laughs> um, oh god I gotta edit the video still but you know that's fine but anyways make sure to click the like button it helps me out a lot and click the subscribe button that helps me out even more and uh, if you want to know every time I upload and or live stream click the notification bell I'm gonna try and do some more of these tutorial like videos for different stuff maybe not just Minecraft but some different stuff as well uh, but yeah, hopefully I helped you guys out, and I will see you all on the next video. Goodbye.